Yes, I did. Or oh, you had something from me. And what will I be hiding from you? Maybe a boyfriend. Boyfriend? Yes, I'm a very jealous man. So do away with all the boyfriends. There is no boyfriend anywhere. Good. Because I want you all for myself. You have me all to yourself, Chief. You have nothing to worry about. I love to stay here with you, but I have to go. You have where to be? Yes. Welcome back. I told you I was going to get the job. Yes, you did. But wait, how did you even do it? I don't know too. But one thing I'm sure of is that he likes me. Do you think he gave you a job because he likes you? Because I'm smart and because you can't take his eye away from my beauty. You're so full of yourself. Are you trying to say I'm not beautiful or what? I know you are smart and... And what? Just say it. You already know. So what do you plan to do now? Work and get close to Adams and Chief's family. Do you think Adams knows something about Chief Dillon? He has his son-in-law. I'm sure there's a connection there. Or might help lead to the connection on who Sarah's brother is. Okay, if you say so, just be careful. I will. How did Chief find out where I was staying? That man must have followed me when I left work. This man is really dangerous like Adi and Rebecca have been saying. What if he knows who I am and he came here to confirm that? I just hope my cover is not blown yet. I shouldn't have asked him all the plenty questions about himself, work and things he does. He might have suspected me, but I tried my best to stay calm and not ask too much. Why would he ask me if I was a detective? That means he knows who I am. I need to call Adi now. Where did I drop this phone? I need to call Adi. Hello Sarah, how are you? I think my cover has been blown. What do you mean your cover is blown? How? Chief was here at my place. You invited him over? No, I didn't. I heard a knock on the door and it was him. Okay, calm down. What did he say? He came to see me and I shouldn't be surprised how he got to know my place that he had followed me. Look like that's him. I told you he was going to come home. But look at the time he's getting back. It's late. I might be caught up in something. That's why I'm sure you two will talk about it. Baby, you're back. You call me worried. Sorry about that. I was busy. See, I told you. He might be busy. That's why he didn't come back on time. You got me worried. You weren't even picking my call. I'll leave you and James to talk. I want to go inside. I need to rest. Babe, it's all like you to still be at work this late. That's because I was busy. You've always been busy at work, but you always come home early. Yes, but I just wanted to finish everything I was doing. That's all. I hope you're good. No, I'm not. I'm worried about you. Why would you be worried? You know I was fine. You weren't picking up my calls. I didn't see them. I put my phone on silent. That's why. Okay, next time, if you know you'll be staying late, just call me. I still don't know why you're worried. I told you I was going to the office when I left the house. Yes, you did. But it's past the time you usually come home. Okay, sorry I got you worried. It's okay. I'm glad you are home and safe. Of course, I'll be fine. You know that. Should I make you something to eat? No, I'm not hungry. Why? You haven't eaten since morning. I had something on my way back. You ate? Yes, baby. I was working and it's normal for me to get hungry. It shouldn't be news to you. I told you the other day to be careful. Yes, you did. I have been very careful. Good. You have to keep it that way. What should I do now? Are you coming over? We can't do that. Why can't you? You can't be seen with us, particularly me. It's going to blow our cover. Okay, so what should I do? You know how this works, Sarah. Just stay at home and stay calm. How can I act calm when I just blew my cover? I'm sure you didn't. Chief won't let leave you alive and let us wait until tomorrow. What's happening tomorrow? His reaction towards you. We'll know if your cover has been blown or not. Sarah, be calm. I'm sure your cover is not blown, okay? Okay, what are you two doing? Rebecca got the job and it seems like Adams has a crush on her. That sounds nice. It looks like Rebecca is having a boyfriend soon. I'm there to do the job, not to catch feelings. But he's allowed to do the catching though. <laughs> See you later. Yes, she's the kind of woman I need. I'm sure Emily and James will be glad that you found someone you like. Yes, I remain hopeful that James will bring home a woman too. Are you thinking of getting married before? I don't know yet. What do you think I get for Sarah? Some flowers or a gift would do. I want something special for her. What are you two celebrating? Nothing. I just want something to make her feel special around me. And also about Elia. What happened? I came to see her unannounced. Some women would have been offended that I came over without telling them. 
Who is Sarah? Someone you don't know. You look excited talking about her. Is she your new girlfriend? Is there anything wrong with me having one? Not at all, I'm glad. I will be more glad if you bring a woman home. We are not having this conversation again. What about the woman you went to see the other day? Why does he always run away when I bring up this conversation? You dressed already? Yes, I'm going to work. I know that and it looks like you are leaving already. Yes, I am. Okay, don't you eat breakfast before leaving? No, I am not hungry. Why? You didn't eat last night and now the same thing. I am late, but I have to leave now. At least eat something small before you leave, even if it's a bit. I am fine. Don't stay up waiting for me. I will be late today. Why? I have something I need to attend to. I will see you later. So you won't eat before leaving? Yes, I won't. Take care of yourself. Okay, let me pack it for you. You can eat when you get to the office. That won't be necessary. I hope you're enjoying your new office. Yes, I am. Thank you so much. You don't need to thank me. It's something I should do. So you say, Mr. Felix? I am not an old man yet. You can stop calling me Mr. Just say Felix. Okay, Felix, if you say so. Yes, we are working in the same office. Let's be casual with each other. Okay. What will I be doing today? Don't worry, you will know soon enough when Adams is around. Okay, then. Speaking of which, who is that? That's true. Why is Adam acting this way? First, he came home very late last night, and this morning he's not ready to eat before going to work, and mom shouldn't stay up late for him. He's going to be late. Is he angry because James was here? But it's not my fault. I called James because I was worried about him. He wasn't picking up my calls, and I didn't know what to do. I don't know what he wants me to do. James needs me. And I promise I'll be there for him. What does he expect from me now? I don't even know. We already talked about everything and he was okay with it. But now he's acting weird. What if he's not acting weird? He's just busy and I'm the one thinking this way. It still doesn't change the fact that he's coming home late and refusing to eat. I will not be able to balance things between James and Adam and make everyone happy. My husband needs me. And my brother needs me by his side. I'm confused. I don't even know what I'm going to do. Hmm. Seems my cover isn't blown after all. The man means business. Oh, this flower smells nice. I hope you like them. I went out myself to pick them for you. They smell just like you, my dear. Thanks for hosting me yesterday. I had a great time with you. And I look forward to having more great times with you. Have a lovely day ahead, my dear. I'll see you after work. Much love, Chief. He even wrote a love letter. Chief knows how to sweep a woman off her feet. I'm surprised. My cheeks have turned red. Oh, I need to call Adi. He needs to hear about this. Guess what? You know I'm not good at guessing. So just tell me what happened. Just get into the office now. I found flowers on my table, together with a note from Chief. That was beautiful and romantic at the same time. Yes, it is. I'm sure your mind is at peace now that your cover hasn't been blown. Kind of. I told you that he knows nothing. You were just being scared over nothing. Do you know, this man got a flower that smells just like me. This man must love you so much, Sarah. Yes, and he sure knows how to show it. Do you want me to read the note he sent to me? No, I don't want that. See you later. Take care of yourself and be careful, okay? Hey, good morning. Good morning. Come in. I can see you're working hard. I hope I'm not disturbing you. No, you are not at all. How is your first day at work going? It's going well. I'm enjoying it so far. That's nice to hear. Yes, I met your friend Felix. Oh, okay. I hope he gave you the rundown of everything you need to know about the office. He tried his best and said you would train me more when you're less busy. Right, but that will be when I'm less busy. That won't be a problem. I should let you finish your work. As much as I want to finish this work, I also want to talk to you. What do you want to talk about? I want to get to know you better. You already know everything you need to know about me. I'm an open book. I have nothing to hide. If you say so. Anyway, I want to tell you to do a good job here, okay? I promise I'd give it my best and that's what I'm going to do. Okay then, if you say so. I trust you to do a good job. Hello sis. Hi James, good morning. Hope you had a good night rest. Yes I did, and you? I also had a good night rest, thank you for asking. That's good to know. You're not going to the office. No, I wanted to check on you to see how you're doing. Oh, thank you, I'm doing fine. 
Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm very sure I'm doing fine. Your voice doesn't sound so sure. How does my voice sound? Mm, a little touch of unhappiness and lies. You're not serious. I'm fine. You know I wouldn't lie to you. Did you and Adams have any issue? No, we didn't. We spoke last night and he told me more details about why I had to work late. Okay then, if you say so. I just want you to be fine. I know that. I hope you are good soon. Yes, I'm good, sis. What about dad? I haven't heard from him. He's fine and doing his stuff. Stuff's like what? Don't know, just him and Barry, like always. Dad likes Barry and he's trustworthy. Yes, I know that. I've got to go now. I'll talk to you later. Okay then, take care of yourself. Keith! I told you to stop calling me that. I'm sorry, I got your gift. Thank you so much. I hope you like them. Yes, I do. I, I love them. I was thinking we should go out one of these days. I like the sound of that. Is that a yes from you? Yes, it is. I wasn't expecting to see you. You didn't sound so fine on the phone, so I came to see you in person. But I told you I was fine, didn't I? Yes, you did, but I didn't believe you. That's why I came here to see you myself. I'm sure you can see that I'm doing fine. I can see that you're pretending to be fine, that's all. You know I'm not pretending, right? I know you, and I know when you're lying to me, which you are. Enough talk about me, let's talk about you. You're more important now. What can I do to cheer you up? Your presence here is enough for me. I'm glad my presence here brings you peace. You know dad is going to be angry if he finds out that you are not in the office. And I will tell him I was here to check on you because you weren't happy. I'm fine. Adam and I are good. I hope he won't be coming in late today. He said he'll be late but not so late. Do you want me to talk to him? No, James. I understand that he has to work and he has a lot of stuff on his plate right now that he needs to take care of. If you say so. But you should stop coming home late. It's not making you happy. I'm fine and I mean it. See, you're in a good mood. I'm always in a good mood. Where did you go last night? I didn't go anywhere. I was here. I know, I left you here, but you said you were almost done with work. Yes, I said that, but it turned out I wasn't, so I stayed back late. Nikke called and was asking after you. I'm sure Emily made her to do that. Yes, she said Emily was worried that she wasn't home yet. She gets unnecessarily worried. I told her I was in the office. But okay, but you should have at least picked a call to let her know you were fine. I wasn't really in a good mood to talk, so I put my phone on silent. Are you two having an issue? No, you are not. I'm just busy, that's all. You don't usually work yourself late, so why do it now? It's almost the end of the month and I just want to finish all the work on time. It's that why. No reason they made you the boss. You always take your work too seriously. What am I supposed to do? This is my means of livelihood. Just don't stay late again today. I'll try not to. I'll see you later. First day at work, how was it? The work I was giving was a bit much, but nothing I can't handle. Are you a new crush? He's fine. I went to see him this morning, and he couldn't hide his feelings for me. Sarah called. What did she say? Chief came by and dropped off some gifts, and they weren't for her. This man is something else. Something I said. At least now her mind is at peace. She's not playing off anymore. Yes. It's good that Chief is starting to take her seriously. It seems that the man truly really likes her. He's in too much. Yes, he is. I'm just more, more, more worried about Sarah here. Worried? What do you mean? All these gifts won't entice her to forget the main reason for all of this in the first place. That's true. We should go see her after work today. We don't need her getting carried away by what Chief is doing for her. Chief seems like a very good person and not capable of doing any crime. He built his company from nothing and also trained his children all by himself. Look at all the things he's been giving me since I met him. What if James is the mastermind behind this illegal dealing? He traveled overseas and I'm sure that was when he made contact with the people he's buying from. He might just be using his father's company to cover up and Chief knows nothing about it. I need to speak to Adi and Rebecca. They are seeing this in a different way. Chief might not be involved in anything illegal. It might be James. Chief knows how to treat someone right. When was the last time I received so much care and attention from anyone? I don't think he's a criminal like I thought he is. I told you this wasn't necessary, I'm fine. I accepted that lie you told me about being fine. I just brought you here so you can clear your head. Why won't you just believe me that I'm not lying to you? Because I can feel that you are not happy and you don't want to admit it to me. Any lady in your life yet? No, just you. I can't be the only one. You should find someone. Don't you want to get married? 
I will when the time is right. But for now, I want you to I want to connect with you and make you happy. You always make me happy, James. That's my everyday goal to see that you're happy. So you haven't met any lady. I think I need to find one for you. You don't need to. I'll find one myself. But I saw this lady like that. That's nice. What's her name? Anna or something. I can't remember. So you like her? No. I just went to check on her to see how she's feeling. Oh, she was sick? Not really. That day I went to Adam's office to talk to him. We ended up having issues. I kind of hit her because I was angry and not looking. And she fainted. Oh my god, James. You need to be careful. What if something worse than that happened? What were you going to do? I know that. I will be more careful from now on. Please do. I hope she's feeling much better now. Yes, she is. How did you two get in? The same way she found you. You two scared the hell out of me. Sorry, but you had to come see you. And this was the only way since you might be followed. It's not like someone is washing the house. That aside, I'm glad to see you too. How was your first day in the office? Not bad. I think I'm going to enjoy it there. That's nice, dude. I did tell you about the gift you gave me this morning. Yes, he did. At least now your mind is at peace. Yes. Sarah, I want to make sure that you are still focused on the plan. Yes, I am. I know Chief is sharing with lots of gifts and everything. Not to lie, he is. I want you to remember why we're doing this. To uncover Chief's connection to illegal activities and find your brother. I know that, and he's getting closer to me day by day. We know that, and we want to make sure Chief is the one getting attached, not you. You don't have to worry. I remember the reason why we are doing this. Good, Sarah. And that's why we need every piece of information we can get. And you can only do that when you are not blindfolded by love and lust for Chief's gifts. Where could she have gone to? Today I decided to come home early, but she's out. I'm sure she went out with James. How did I get myself into this? And there is Chief asking me to be patient with him. I hope you had fun. Yes, I did. Thanks to you. Seems you two had fun. Hey, babe. You're home. Where did you get back? Not long. What's up, man? I'm good. How was work today? It was fine. Emily was bored, so I took her out to have some fun. I hope you're cool with that. You are family now, and Emily is your sister. I can't stop you two from going out. Let me prepare something for you to eat. I'll go inside. Okay, baby. I'll let you know when it's ready. Okay, then. Hey, babe. How was work today? It went well. How was your day? Same as always. Any news from your friend yet? No, nothing yet. They haven't seen each other yet. They have, but he said he left early to see his sister. I am sure it was the day Adam's come home late. I think Emily might have called him, so he left to see her. Since then, they haven't spoken yet. He hasn't called her yet. Do you think this is working out in the first place? I don't know, but I'm sure it will eventually. Adams is burying himself in work, just to avoid them. I pity Adams. I can't imagine how he's feeling. What's the use of a marriage you are not enjoying? I hope they can solve things between them soon. I hope so too. I've been meaning to ask. What's that? What if Chief doesn't have a connection to this? We might just be chasing shadows. He does. I've been working on his case for some time now, and I can tell you that he's far from innocent. Don't be deceived by his gifts. I'm not. I'm just saying James might be the one running the illegal deal behind his dad's back, and he doesn't know. We don't need you thinking this way now. You've seen the evidence. Stop bringing up assumptions. We sent you undercover on Chief because what we have is not strong enough to take him down. I know that. I'm just saying, what if he's not part of it? There's no what if here, Sarah. Don't you want to find your brother anymore? I do. So why are you bringing up all these questions? Look, we need to find more evidence of Chief and his illegal activities. I'm telling you, Sarah, Chief is not innocent. So stop thinking about what ifs and find out the truth. That's the only way we can know if he's innocent or not. For how long will I continue this way? I'm tired of this relationship going on between Emily and James. They would have been the perfect couple. She could even easily tell me that he took my wife out. She doesn't even realize it's late and he's still in my house and Emily won't tell him to leave. I saw all those red flags but I choose to go to it, into it anyway. I didn't listen and now look at the situation I'm in. I'm not enjoying my marriage. It looks like I'm just married to myself. I'm done.